Hello friends! So today this video is going to be about the supplies you need for crochet. Now everyone's a little bit different but for me I like doing anagurumi which are little plushes. This one's not finished but it's a process and you know what that's okay. So we're gonna start with what you kind of need to get started I guess uh, to like crochet literally anything. Um, so for me, I like using, um, of course, my H hook. It's my favorite hook that I love using. Uh, but you can get any hook that you prefer. I have a whole teapot full of different shapes, sizes. Um, and so I would prefer most for H hooks and kind of in the bigger range areas because crocheting with thinner gauged yarn is really hard to do with a big, big, a, a big hook. The next thing that you're gonna need is a stitch marker. Now you can buy them at like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, but if you like want to keep it kind of on a budget, you can use bobby pins. Straight up what you can use. It is easy, it won't stab you, you don't have to like close it off. All you have to do is stick it through the stitch and you're done. And usually a lot of people will have these in their house and if they don't, I'm like I got like a set at like Dollar Tree for $1.25 because it's no longer the Dollar Tree. Um, so that's like the most important things you need. And of course, you know, yarn, which you can get from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Um, any gauge is fine, whatever colors you want, really truly does not matter. Even like the kind of yarn, like this is Red Heart and I have like a whole bunch of different types of yarn. So it really doesn't matter on that. And of course, scissors. Uh, you, usually everyone has like at least one pair of scissors, um, but yeah, you would also need scissors. Now, if you wanted to do anagurumi, which are the plushies that people make and stuff like that, three of the most important things you're going to need is a darning needle or a yarn needle, which, as you can see, it has a bigger middle. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm so sorry. But, and it's not sharp, it doesn't stab you. And it's easier to use for yarn because of the bigger eye it has. So that's one of the things you're going to need. Eyes, which uh, you can buy at Michael's, Joann's. I brought my set on Amazon because it came with different sizes. They're smaller and bigger. Tiny and even tinier. Um, and you can just search up eyes and they come with their own like little little backs that you just have to shove on and they pretty much stay you can also buy like noses if you want to as well which they look like this and again i got the noses at my my, my local michaels so i mean you can really use whatever you want you can even crochet them if you want all you got to do is crochet a circle i also like to use buttons on some of mine because they just for me turn out a little bit cuter than they could have been or if I don't have the right sized eyes. It's the easiest option to uh, going to Amazon and having to wait for the shipping. And the last thing you're gonna need is stuffing. Now, I like to use polyfill, um, but my thing is, is for me, I use plastic, like plastic bags, any like kind of plastic stuff because it made a crunchy noise I guess I could say and I was doing it on a budget and was not doing it as I was just doing it as a hobby and I was like I really don't need stuffing so you know I straight up cut up some plastic bags and shoved them into them and called it square um, but once I got more into like I'm gonna start selling it or you know I would totally recommend getting you a bag of polyfill or any kind of stuffing you want, really, it really doesn't matter. But that's my personal use that I use, so yeah. And you can get that at like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart even. Um, for me, I thought Walmart was a lot cheaper, especially for that big of a bag that's lasted me almost a year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really do appreciate all of y'all's support and at least just like looking at my videos. And I hope you're learning a lot. And remember, stay creative. Bye!